everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we're gonna do something really like quick and simple. Uh, well, it's not so simple if you haven't made it before, but and I'm not an expert at this. I just enjoy this dish. So, um, and I know classic or traditionally it's made with fish sauce. So once I went vegan, I can't really have this unless if I ask the restaurant to make it take out the fish sauce but then everyone else is gonna be like well it's not gonna taste like the Thai salad so <laughs> I try to make this at home as often as I can because I really really enjoy this dish so today we're gonna be making papaya salad it's a traditional Thai dish but um, and I think I I'm kinda make it close to traditional we'll see I don't know leave a comment if you think it. <laughs> I'm totally off but um, I start with peanuts. I buy the whole um, unroasted peanuts and then I toast it in the oven for about, I don't know, like 350 degrees for about 10 minutes until the peanuts get uh, golden brown and then the shells just come off like this. So once you toast it, you're gonna kind of like rub all the shells off. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> but it tastes so much better when you roast the peanut yourself. So the motion I'm doing is kind of like rolling just the peanut off one hand to the other and leaving the um, shell, the skin. My palm. So I'm just trying to roll the peanut on. And then once I do that, I get rid of the sh skin that's in my hand. I go back and forth. So I have about quarter cup of peanut here. So the next part, um, I have green papaya here. If you oftentimes go to um, Southeast Asian uh, supermarket, they will already have some shredded in a bag you can buy. But I just wanted to show you if, if they didn't have that, you can buy green papaya. Which I, I actually got this contraption free. So I ordered something from Amazon and then they included this. And this is the first time I'm actually using it and it works great. So I just go up and down like this. I mean, just pull it down and it shreds it for me like this. I mean, you can use a grater and grate the um, papaya that way too. So that's your choice. This will take a little longer depending on how fast you can pull this and, and pull the um, papaya. But look at this, this is so great. So I'm about to heat the, I can see why it's free because this is already coming loose. So I, I'm just about to hit the um, center, I can feel it, so I'm going to rotate it. So once I get almost to the middle, look, it's all seats here. Done with that. Once you shred your coconut, either shred it like this or use a um, grater. Or if you have a food processor with a grater attachment, that's even better. So I'm going to, um, if you're going to use the um, food processor, I would probably quarter them, de seed them, and then just run it through. Then I'm going to take my, 
I have ice bath here. So I'm gonna put my papaya salad into the ice bath. So we want the papaya to get really crispy. Not like really like firm and hard from the ice water. It's gonna make the texture really firm. So that's the key to a really good papaya salad. So we're gonna let this soak. So I'm gonna prepare for like one person because it's just for me. <laughs> so um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually um, put the, this is a mortar. I got this from the Korean market because I only had a small um, marble mortar. And then this is a pestle. And so you just kind of like break apart the peanut into uh, big, it doesn't have to be fine, finely ground, you just want to break it up to release that fragrant oil from the peanut. So, okay, I have my chopped peanuts, and I don't really need to wash this because I'm gonna put peanuts on it anyway. If you have peanut allergies, just omit it. Then we're gonna start with the Thai chili. <laughs> so some of them can be really spicy. I like a little bit of heat on my papaya salad, so I'm gonna put about two and a half. There's a tiny little one. I just trimmed the, the tip off or the, the stem. So I put that in here with two cloves of garlic. So this, you're going to need to really like... Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. <laughs> the peppers are already getting to me. Just make sure that it's mashed up really fine. I mean, you could do this in the blender, I guess, but then it's not the same because you're gonna actually take the pineapple and uh, other um, solid ingredients and kind of like muddle them together with the dressing. So, to this, I'm gonna add well, traditionally they use palm sugar, but I don't have any in my um, pantry. I only have brown sugar. So I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of brown sugar. And kinda, the brown sugar will kinda help break down the um, chili and the garlic even further. Wow, it's so fragrant. Then I'm gonna take lime, juice of one lime. So, I mean my lime, I have a lime squeezer, but it's so small, because I have ginormous lime, so I'm using my um, lemon squeezer. So I'm gonna squeeze the juice. Some people say put the whole thing in here, muddle it, but I don't, because the pith, the white part gives up really bitter flavor. If you want extra flavor of the um, lime, I would just zest it. Just take a um, nice sharp, what do you call it, um, peeler or take a microplane and then just kind of like take only the, the outer skin without the without the, the pith. And it would be even better if you did it um, before you cut it in half, but that's an option. You don't have to do that. Just You just want the acid from the, um, the lime juice itself. Okay. So I have juice of one lime. And then to this, usually calls for fish sauce, but I have my um, broth 
I made with mushroom and kelp. Um, so I usually make four ounces of kelp with six mush dry shiitake and I just bring it to a boil, turn it down to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and I have like a fishy broth. So I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of this and since uh, fish sauce is really salty, I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of salt. And then papaya salad is supposed to also have tamarind sauce. So if you don't know what tamarind is, this is what it looks like, the fruit. And I bought this um, paste from the Thai market. So this is the base of making also pad thai. So I'm gonna put in my, I'm gonna put about uh, three tablespoons of uh, tamarind sauce also. But if yours is concentrated, like a thick paste, I would put less, maybe about a tablespoon. But mine is kind of like watery. So I'm gonna put three tablespoons in here. Okay, then to this, we have some long beans. So this is the Asian long bean. Um, they only come in like big bundles at the market like this. So if you don't have access to long bean, you can buy French green beans and use that instead. Um, so I would just trim the end, wash it, trim the end, and then I would just cut these into um, about one inch pieces. Place it into the sauce mixture and then give it kind of like kind of break it down a little. It's smelling so good already. And then I have these great um, tomatoes. I have half them. I slice them in half. I have about half a cup. I'm gonna place that in here and kind of like muddle them. So um, traditionally they have some kind of like seafood in the papaya salad. A lot of them put um, dried shrimp. We're not gonna put any of that. Um, some specialty places also put raw blue crabs in it. Um, yeah, my parents will actually love the raw blue crab version, but we're making it vegan, so we're not putting any of that. So we kind of like muddle the... Um, it doesn't have to all be smushed, but just like you're just kind of releasing the, um, the juices from the tomatoes and the, the uh, long bean. I have some nice clean towels. We have our papaya sal papaya green papaya that's been soaking in water for about five minutes. And they're already a lot firmer and crisper. So I'm gonna take this out and kind of like pat it dry. So I'm gonna use about half. So half is about, I would say this is about, I would, I will measure for you. So this is about eight ounces, nine ounces, eight ounces, nine ounces. Yeah, this is about 9 ounces of papaya. So obviously this whole thing's not gonna fit in here at once. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna take some of the sauce out. I'm gonna put half my papaya and half the sauce. And kinda 
release the juices from the papayas too. And also that will release the juice from the papaya and then the seasoning will get into the papaya as you model. So for presentation, I'm just going to have some cabbage lined up here. And I asked my... When I used to go to Thai restaurant with my friends, I asked them why they put cabbage along with the papaya salad and nobody knew. And then I asked the Thai, I had, I, I asked the Thai um, friend and they said it's because sometimes they make the papaya salad so spicy that the cabbage kind of like is sweet and cools down when you're eating it with the papaya salad. So that's the reason I got it. So I don't know if it's right, <laughs> but that's, that's what they told me. So I'm going to put the papaya salad. First, I should actually taste it for salt. That's good. Wow, I get the spiciness right away. It actually could use a little more salt. So I'm giving, I'm like giving it enough force so that the papaya kind of releases its juice, but I'm not hitting it so hard. So that it's just like a mush. So this is probably gonna be enough for me to eat it twice or three times. But papaya salad always tastes better when you have it sitting in the refrigerator. Wow, this is a lot of salad. <laughs> so once I have our papaya salad made, but um, this is gonna be my lunch. So I'm gonna eat it with some steamed rice and I'm gonna saute the rest of these green beans and I'm gonna put that right now. So while the hands are all bundled up like this, I'm going to remove the tip. And then I'm just gonna slice them into like two inch pieces. If the tips are kind of gross, you just... Some of them are gross, some of them are not. So for this, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I have some uh, vegetarian or vegan... I read the ingredient, there's nothing in there that has animal product. I found this at the Asian market. Well, I found it at the Thai market. They had a smaller one too, but I just bought a giant, giant one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're gonna put uh, some vegan oyster sauce, stir fry sauce. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of chili garlic sauce, and then a, a tablespoon of uh, garlic. So, we're gonna get the pan nice and hot with some olive oil. I actually also have preserved pickles that um, most times uh, they put in here. Why don't we just do that if you have it? So I bought this uh, for one of my... I just, I just like buying unusual things that I've never seen. So um, this is made in Taiwan. It's a... Um, Day lily mustard root, root relish. So it's like a pickle root. It has really great flavor. So this is what it looks like. So when the pan gets nice and hot, we're gonna put in our 
Put in our garlic. Then I'm gonna put all of this uh, root vegetable. So there's not much left in here. Garlic, so yummy. Then we're gonna put in our vegan oyster sauce. And then the chili garlic sauce. You can omit the chili garlic sauce if you don't like it too spicy. So there's a lot of sodium in the um, pickled root vegetables and the, um, the vegan oyster sauce. So I'm not gonna add any more salt to this. And we're just um, cooking this until the beans are pretty much a um, little bit soft, but we want a, uh, a lot of crunch to them too. So the um, Asians usually like to uh, cook their vegetables on high heat really fast. So that you can just kind of tell that it's cut, but it's not like mushy. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. This, the smell is just unbelievable. Oh my god. <laughs> my lunch is going to be great. <laughs> I just got a whiff of the garlic. The chili garlic. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh. I'm gonna have some really nice uh, brown rice on the bottom. Scorched rice. Then I have my chilled papaya salad. Don't forget to put the peanuts. <laughs> That's a lot of peanut, but it's okay. I like, I like to taste the peanut. Look at my papaya salad. Okay. Nice and <laughs> eating too because she smells the food and she sees me eating mm. so good seriously I wish I had somebody here who can taste it and say it's really good <laughs> that's how good it is
enjoy this tomorrow. Tonight, I don't know. Maybe I'll eat it tonight, but I think I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. I put two and a half of those Thai chili. It's not that spicy. These batch of um, Thai chilies were not that spicy. Mmm, so good. You get that sweetness from the brown sugar, which adds another depth of flavor rather than just adding plain white sugar. Then the crunchy, chewy texture of the papaya. They were super crunchy since I soaked it in water, cold water. And then once I muddled, muddled it together with the sauce, it also became a little chewy. So, crunchy, chewy, sweet, tangy, um, nutty from the peanut, the really fresh tomato flavor, along with like the little bit of starchy flavor of the, the green, the brown, uh, long bean, and that super crunchiness from the long bean. flavor from my homemade um, broth and the tamarind has a different type of tamarind is really tangy but it's different kind of tangy from the wine Try it with the cabbage. It adds a different kind of sweetness to the salad. I'm just like eating, eating rice with chopsticks, but this is so loose I need to use my spoon. This is so typical for me. When we're using the spoon, my chopstick is cut like this. Maybe I'll do the next video uh, tomorrow and I'll eat it with this. I'll do the pad thai and I'm gonna eat it with the pad thai. So I'm gonna have save half. <laughs> I'm so happy.
맛있어. 어. 음. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, the next video I'm gonna do pad thai, but we're gonna do it vegan. Oh my god, so good. I'm gonna eat it with these tomorrow. So I have half left. I'm gonna eat it with my pad thai instead of rice. So. Again, if you enjoyed this video, press the like, share it with all your friends. I'm no expert at cooking Thai food. I just enjoy eating it. And since I um, I can't really eat it in restaurants anymore, unless if I go to a Thai vegan Thai place, which there's not any of in Arizona, I would have to go to um, LA. And even if I do go to LA, it's like so hard to find parking in that one restaurant that I know that is vegan um, Thai food. Um, yeah, so press the like, share button. There's no share button. <laughs> press the like button, subscribe, um, show it to all your friends and family. And thanks, thanks for watching. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.